Chapter 2, The Cross and the Crown. The register of Fort La Présentation establishes June 1, 1749 as the date of the founding of Abbe Piquet's Indian mission. Fortunately, copies of the register still exist, although the original was destroyed by fire. The date also marks the founding of the first civilized community where the city of Ogdensburg now stands. The register opens with a description in Latin of the opening of the mission. In English, it reads, In the name of the Lord, the omnipotent God of the Blessed Trinity, for the propagation of the divine empire of our Lord Jesus Christ, of his most holy spouse, the Church, as well as for the extension of the kingdom of Louis the Fifteenth, the most beloved and the most Christian king, for the salvation of the barbarous nations of America, in the year of our Lord, 1749, the first day of June, under the reign of the Supreme Pontiff, Benedict the Fourteenth, Henri Marie de Pontbriand, Bishop of Quebec, of D.D. de la Jonquière, Governor of New France, and in his absence by order of the King of D.D. de la Galissonniere, Generalissimo of all the colony in wartime, of D.D. Bigot, the Intendant of Justice, of Police, and Finance, under the patronage of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, of the Blessed Archangels Michael, Gabriel, and Raphael, of the Guardian Angels, of the Blessed John the Baptist, and of Blessed Joseph, of the Apostles Peter, Paul, and John, the Evangelist, and of St. Francis of Sale, the particular patron of Father Piquet. Francois Piquet laid the foundation of this new habitation, commonly called Sagazzi by the Indians and La Présentation by the French. Piquet at various times signed himself Francois Piquet, missionary of St. Sulpice, in charge of the new establishment of La Présentation, Francois Piquet, missionary of the Indians and of the French at the new establishment, which we have formed and of which we have charged by order of the king, Francois Piquet, priest of St. Sulpice, king's missionary who has established this mission, Francois Piquet, superior of the mission of Sagazzi. The mission flourished under Abbe Piquet, who brought with him from the Lake of the Two Mountains in Canada four Iroquois Indians, a stonemason, a carpenter, French soldiers, and laborers, in all 29 men. They carried in long canoes everything that would be needed, including provisions for several months. They arrived at the junction of the St. Lawrence and Oswegatchie Rivers, May 30, 1749, after a perilous journey up the rapids. The carpenter and the stonemason received wages. The others were under contract. Within two years, 396 Indian families living at the mission had sworn e eternal fidelity to our father, King Louis XV of France. From the first, the progress of Fort La Présentation was phenomenal. By October 20, 1749, in less than five months, the French built a fort of palisades, a house for Abbe Piquet, a barn, a stable, a redoubt, and a kiln. The men worked daily from 3 a.m. until 9 p.m. at various tasks, including clearing of adjacent heavily forested land. French troops garrisoned the post and its armaments, including cannon. Nevertheless, hostile Mohawks attacked the mission and burned the palisades and the barn. These were rebuilt, and a chapel and a store were constructed. Later, a sawmill was established south of the fort on the west shore of the Oswegatchie River. Iroquois villages flourished just south of the fort at Indian, Chimney Point, and Piquet Island in the St. Lawrence River. Lumbering was a lucrative business for the mission, and Montreal markets regularly bought all that La Présentation could furnish. Near the fort were many oak and elm trees of great girth and height. Lombardy poplars were planted on the peninsula, and a corduroy road was built. For almost nine years, Piquet owned the fort and the land in vicinity, along both shores of the Oswegatchie River, under a grant from King Louis XV, dated October 10, 1751. In the history of the city of Ogdensburg, 1927, the late Right Reverend Monsignor Phileas S. Garand described the original fort. The fort was a square measuring 70 feet on each side and was flanked by Father Piquet's little house, 
which projected into the river like a bastion, it was constructed of dressed stone on a point of land at the confluence of the St. Lawrence and Oswegatchie rivers, where the steam car ferry now lands, but not quite so far out into the St. Lawrence.